Hello there, my name is Andrew Bridges. I'm the president and CEO of Photron USA. We're a wholly, so, wholly owned subsidiary of Photron Limited of Tokyo, Japan, and we're showing a lot of product here from Photron and our different partners. Primarily, we're working with Photonic Lattice out of Sendai, Japan, who are one of the pioneers of photonic crystal technology. One of the systems we're showing here is our PA300 system, which is a, a means of measuring very low orders of retardants in glass and other substrates like this. We also do a range called our WPA, which measures at three different wavelengths, unlike the PA series, which only measures at one. And the benefit of the uh, three wavelengths is that we're able to measure large, audience, large orders of uh, retardants, such as we find in polymers and plastic lenses. So when we take our system, I've already performed a baseline calibration, which enables us to uh, basically take out any uh, artifacts in the, uh, the light source, a circular polarized light source. And when I start, I do a simple scan, which only takes a matter of seconds. And we'll see basically the birefringent data, quite low order. So when we first come up, it's automatically def defaults to, in this case, 20. Let's come down a little lower than that, four. Let's go down to two. So now we're looking at two nanometers of retardant. So very low levels of birefringent uh, residual stress that's left in this uh, um, iPhone glass cover. And this is very useful for people who are producing uh, glass lenses um, and different things like that, where they want to make sure that there's not any residual stress or photoelasticity left in the material that they're testing. Now, Photron's main business has always been high-speed video, and we have a high-speed polarization 2D camera here, the Krista. But one of our newest uh, products is made by a company called Farsighted out of New Jersey, and this is a backlit CD CMOS camera that produces a stunning 326,000 frames per second at full resolution. And it also has the benefit of having built-in commercially available SSD drives in the back. So a superior light sensitive, we're talking about 160,000 ISO light sensitivity for the monochrome camera with a color one, color one available also. So the far-sighted E9 camera is probably the benchmark of high-speed, high-sensitivity, high-speed cameras. This is Andrew Bridges with Photron saying thank you very much for watching. We look forward to seeing you at a trade show near you in the future. Over and out.